Yeah, you know what? It's been absolutely incredible. So much work went into this event. You know, it was a year in the in planning, but the support of the community, everyone that attended the event, is overwhelming. It's going to help a ton of people. Um, it's going to have a real impact, and we're going to work really hard to make sure every dollar counts. A quarter of a million dollars raised over a weekend. Where will this money go to help those with mental health issues? We're going to really assess where the impact needs to be, the impact we want to have, and the reach we want to have. We're working with the hospital foundation and we have some great projects with them that are already underway. Plans are, you know, in place. So we're excited to get going on those. And we really just want to see where the needs are and we're going to put the money where it's going to have the most impact, where it's going to help the most people. And we're just going to keep working and continuing to raise funds and awareness. Uh, the Deacons, uh, a big part of uh, making this happen. How much support and uh, administrative uh backing did this allow for you guys to really fly with us? Well the Deacons have been incredible. Mark has been with me every step of the way. We, we both met at a really tough time in our life but that happened for a reason I believe and we've really partnered up on this. We enjoy working together. We work well together and um, this is just the start of something special that we're going to continue for years to come and keep impacting uh, the community. I think the biggest impression was seeing 400 people move to tears multiple times just with the scale of the event, with the um, the messages that were talked about openly about mental health, uh, with the amount of money that was raised, with the professionalism uh, that the event was put on with, and with the with how the whole community came together uh, to support uh, uh, Chapter Chad. Mark's son was in attendance over the weekend, which was a very big deal. Last year at the first chat for Chad, he wasn't able to be there. He was in the hospital. And while he still is in the hospital, he's made so much progress that he is was able to come. And I called him out from the stage in my speech, at which point 400 people jumped to their feet and gave him a standing ovation as a mental health survivor. That has to be one of the most powerful experiences of your life. Absolutely, and watching uh, my family at the two tables we had literally sobbing, to watch the Ringlers um, delight in that, to watch 400 people recognize his struggle, and in some regards he represented the struggles that everyone has or everyone knows someone who has. So he became the poster child for mental health that night, and that was that was incredible.